Ankur Scientific Energy Technologies Private Limited, a company established in 1986, has been in the forefront of research and developmental activities in the area of non-conventional energy sources. Set up by Dr. B.C. Jain, an internationally acclaimed technocrat, the company has since its inception an enviable record of development in the area of biomass gasification. Today, it is seen as the world leader in this technology area. Its indigenously developed technology is now being marketed all over the world, including in developed country markets like the US, Canada, Germany, etc. Let us start with understanding the process of biomass gasification. Biomass gasification is basically conversion of solid fuels like wood, wood waste and agricultural residues into a combustible gas mixture called producer gas. The process is typically used for various biomass materials and it involves partial combustion of such biomass. Partial combustion process occurs when the air supply or the oxygen supply is less than adequate for the combustion of biomass to be completed. The gasifier is essentially a chemical reactor where various complex physical and chemical processes take place. Biomass gets dried, heated, pyrolyzed, partially oxidized and reduced in this reactor as it flows through it. Four distinct processes take place in a gasifier. Drying of the fuel, pyrolysis, combustion, reduction. A typical gasifier plant based on the Ankur design will consist of a gas reactor, a gas cooling system, and a gas filtering system. A gasifier demands biomass of a certain moisture content sized within a certain range. While this may not need to be done for biomasses which are already in a usable form, for example rice husk, peanut shells etc, for most biomasses sizing and drying will be essential steps. A typical setup for an Ankur gasifier based power plant is shown. Biomass sizing is not shown here. Thus the starting point here is the dryer. This equipment, that is the dryer, stores a certain amount of biomass through which engine exhaust or hot air is continuously pumped. This reduces the moisture content of the biomass to less than the required 15 to 20 percent. The cleated conveyor is used to feed the biomass from the bin dryer into the bucket elevator. The skip charger, which is essentially a bucket elevator, transfers the wood pieces into the gasifier reactor. The operation of the cleated conveyor and the skip charger is controlled through biomass level sensors installed inside the gasifier. The Ankur gasifier design controls the air inflow into the gasifier reactor. To this end, the top of the system has a double feed door assembly. This consists of a feed cone and two automated feed doors. Once the bucket elevator reaches the top, the first door opens while the second one remains closed. The bucket elevator empties the biomass into the feed cone. Then the top door closes, the bottom door opens and the biomass falls into the hopper. 
one feed door opens only when the other one is in closed condition. These are the nozzles through which air enters the reactor due to suction created by the blower. As seen earlier, during the process, part of the biomass is converted into charcoal or ash. This needs to be periodically removed from the system. This is done using a comb rotor placed at the bottom of the reactor. The screw conveyor, as seen, is used to remove the hot ash or charcoal from the reactor. The gas coming out from the gasifier has ash and carbon particulates to the tune of above 2 grams per normal meter cube of gas. This gas is at above 400 degrees Celsius, thus the gas needs to be cooled and cleaned. The gas is first passed through a cyclone separator. Here, fine ash is separated from gas. These ash particles are collected in the dust collector placed at the bottom of the cyclone separator. The gas is then passed through a promiser or scrub. Here the gas is scrubbed with water to mainly cool it and partly clean it. The promiser is Uncle Scientific's patent pending innovation. The water used in either the promiser or the scrubber then goes through a cleaning and cooling cycle itself. The cleaning is done using a treatment system while cooling towers or radiators are used for cooling the water. The cool gas now passes through the wet blower. It is so called because water is injected into the blower for further cleaning the gas. This blower also provides the motive power for the entire system. It creates suction in the gasifier to allow the designed amount of air to come into the reactor. The separation box separates the water and the gas. Gas is cooled in the heat exchanger using chilled water. This is done to cool the gas and to thus remove moisture from it. The mist eliminator removes the condensed water particles from the gas. The gas now undergoes filtration. There are two filters connected in series. These filters use a filtering media which is easily available at almost all sites and is a byproduct of the basic feedstock that is biomass. This proprietary filtering system is capable of removing both tars and particulates. A parallel line of filters is offered for continuous operation. The system automatically switches from one line of filters to the other based on pressure drops. The first filter line can then be maintained while the system is running. After this, there is a fabric filter, also called the check filter. This uses an extremely tough cloth which has a mesh size of below 0.5 microns. The gas now has stars and particulates below 5 ppm, as clean as ambient air. The gas can now be injected into turbocharged and after-cooled engines to generate electricity. The electricity generated can be fed into the grid or can be used for captive power. The entire system can be automated to a very high degree. A PLC-based control panel is provided as a standard with the system. Various pressure, temperature and level sensors are used to control the reaction and give alarms or remotely shut down the system. Data from the PLC can be transferred to a centralized database if needed. Ankur Scientific offers systems which can consume from 10 to 2000 kgs of biomass per hour. Based on the output needed, multiple gasifiers can be connected in parallel. Ankur Scientific has done projects from the 10 to 10,000 kilowatt output level. This is extremely clean energy. Projects have also been done in California, which is known to have the toughest air emission norms in the world. Ankur Scientific welcomes you to join the clean energy revolution. Thank you for your time.